out of out of isolation after two weeks? No, it, it feels great, you know. Uh, it's our first time experience for us. Uh, we have been in a bubble, but uh, not in a complete isolation. But uh, honestly, uh, 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 they actually looked after really, really well. All the staffs and uh, the way uh, New Zealand cricket uh, arrange everything. Uh, 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 we, from our team, we can only say thank you. And I thought uh, it's a difficult place to be, but uh, they made it uh, as comfortable as possible. When you, you know you're going into that, does it make the tours more difficult knowing that you've got to give up two weeks of just that? Yeah, definitely, you know, uh, uh, it makes uh, a huge difference. Uh, uh, we have been, we probably are touring this time New Zealand for 45 days where we're in a normal situation. We could have been uh, for 20 days and then go back home and uh, you have to do isolation for another 14 days now. But uh, things are different now. Uh, we have to we have to see uh, respect the rules of the country as well and uh, look forward. But uh, the good thing is we are out. Uh, in a fresh air now, we don't uh, we don't have particular times like where we were in isolation. We were given some particular time where we could have gone now, but all good now. You guys have had your vaccination before coming over. The Black Caps are trying to get that done before they go overseas. Would you encourage governments to, especially national sporting teams that are travelling, to, to do that? I mean, is it given you guys peace of mind? Yeah, that's the future, I reckon. Yeah, you have to probably take it in some state. And I think uh, as a country, uh, uh, our country did an excellent job. Uh, the Prime Minister was uh, well in advance uh, of everything, you know. Uh, she did a fantastic job. Uh, we are very lucky as a nation that uh, not only us cricketers, uh, just normal uh, common people uh, have been getting vaccination. And the best part is for free. Uh, so I think I'm very proud of Bangladesh, what, uh, what we did as a nation. And I'm sure uh, uh, with other countries will follow. And uh, uh, sooner or later, we probably have everyone to take it. Uh, I've personally taken a dose. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I didn't feel anything. It was quite good. Has it been a strange feeling being back in Christchurch? Obviously, last time you guys were here, it was a very sad time. Yeah, it was. It was a difficult time for all of us. And I think, uh, especially to the families uh, who has lost uh, their own. Uh, we can only say this, we can we can pray for them and uh, hope uh, the God makes uh, easy for their families. It uh, wasn't a great time, but uh, we have to look forward, you know. Uh, uh, this is my probably fourth or fifth time to New Zealand. We always look forward to come to New Zealand. It's a beautiful country, be uh, very nice people. Um, and and uh, I should mention the Prime Minister, the way she uh, acted uh, during those difficult times was something uh, was really appreciated by all Bangladeshis. And I think she did a fantastic job. Uh, uh, if I ever get a chance to meet her, uh, I'll personally go and say thank you. Obviously, you guys are going down to Queenstown, but the um, the anniversary of that event is coming up. Will you guys do anything to mark that? See, uh, it's a very emotional part of uh, our lives. Uh, it took a long time to get over it. Uh, as I said, we just have to respect that thing, uh, respect the families who have lost their own. Just pray uh, that uh, God makes them uh, easy, easy for them. You know, uh, that's it. And uh, yeah, I really don't want to go into that thing because uh, uh, it's not a nice feeling to have. New Zealand has given us a lot of good reasons to uh, come here, and I'm, I'm sure in the future also we won't hesitate to come because uh, apart from that incident. New Zealand has been fantastic. What do your preparations look like before Dunedin? Uh, you're obviously going to Queenstown. Will you guys play like some inter squad games or just train? Or, and I understand Daniel Vittori is coming in to, to yeah. lead the hand. He's actually already in uh, Queenstown waiting for us. Uh, we do have a few practice sessions. Uh, we do have a practice game as well. Uh, so, yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, we have been training in, group, uh, in small groups. Uh, during isolation and uh, now from tomorrow we'll be training as a team so really looking forward thanks to me that's all i want to ask you thank you thanks